Nathan Howell accepted a job as Walter Anderson's assistant in hopes that he could get information as to whether or not Walter had any involvement in several deaths in Blackwood. Effectively, he went undercover to investigate the grandfather of one of his closest friends, Brian, who he of course didn't tell. Surprisingly, the information Nathan was chasing came his way willingly. Walter knew more than he was letting on, but he wasn't working alone. Nathan learned that Walter was not only part of the secret society, he wanted Nathan to join. Nathan, I hope I can trust you to keep this between us, but I'd like to talk to you about a certain group I'm a part of. Folks dedicated to protecting the interests of Blackwood. What kind of group? There are a lot of things people wouldn't understand, so we keep quiet. But I can say I'm sure it would make your grandfather proud to know you're following in his footsteps. My grandfather? Nathan, what if I told you there is a bit more to the story than you know? I... I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. I understand how confusing this must be. What does my grandfather have to do with it? Nathan, please, just relax. The people who have died in this town. Abby Dunn, the Coopers, did you? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh. You have the absolute wrong idea. Groups like mine have always existed. Have you ever heard of the Elks Lodge? It started as a social club, purely for fun, until the day a member died. They dedicated themselves to acts of charity, became a support network intent on taking care of not only their members, but their entire communities. And think of us that way, a system of support. What, are you telling me you bake cookies? <laughs> well, sure, something like that. And my grandfather was a part of it. What is it? Your grandfather, believe it or not, was my predecessor. Oh, bullshit. No, no bullshit. As a matter of fact, Stuart led us for quite a long time. If he hadn't fallen ill, he'd still be the head. I'm sure of it. I'm gonna need some proof. Sorry? I wanna know you're not the reason why people like Abby Dunn and Arnold Cooper are dead. You can have your proof. All you have to do is come with me tomorrow. I'm not going anywhere with you. You need to tell me now. Nathan, I understand your hesitation. Hell, I felt it myself once. And we need bright young minds like yours. But I want you to think hard about what you're saying. Or what? I want us to be friends, Nathan. I think I've been pretty forthcoming here. I'd hate for something to change between us. Our group. We aren't known to be very forgiving. Understand? Excellent. The fact of the matter is that we exist largely based on, well, faith. Want your proof? You will have to join us. Now, I don't expect you to make this decision right now. Think about it. I'll be here when you come to a decision. Oh, and Nathan, one last thing. This little documentary you're doing with Ms. Weaver and my grandson. I'd like you to end it. And at the end, they literally kill everybody off. That's it. Black screen, roll credits. I mean, there's part of me that likes that they just completely went insane with it, but as a viewer, I don't... Uh... Yo, Molly, do you want to play again? I have more tokens. You okay? What's up? No, oh, I'm sorry. I'm just I'm trying to get this mic set up really quick. The microphone? Why? What happened? Nathan just texted me. He said he has something he wants to talk to us about. Oh, my God. You said we weren't going to do any of this shit tonight. Whoa, okay, chill. I know I said that and I meant it, but... When's he going to be here? Um, he should be here any minute. Is this all we do now? Turn every conversation to some kind of expose? If Nathan found something out, we should hear it. Okay, whatever. Better be good. I'm getting really tired of all this. Ow. What's wrong? Uh, nothing, it's private. Oh, there he is. What's up? Hey. Hey, okay. So what's going on? I don't really know how to say it. Just tell us. Brian, um, it's your grandfather. He's... Oh my god, I knew it. An hour ago you tell me he's innocent. I knew it was too good to be true. So great, what is it now? Hey, look at you funny, Nathan. 
you find a dead body in his office? Ryan, chill out. Stop telling me to chill out. Okay, this shit never ends. Dude, just, just here. Come listen to this. But I'd like to talk to you about a certain group I'm a part of. Folks dedicated to protecting the interests of Blackwood. Think about it. I'll be here when you come to a decision. This is... Shit, I don't even know what to say. I'm sorry, Brian. Why? What? So what, you're all freaked out because my grandpa's in... that little club? You can't be serious. That's probably just a boring group of old people sitting around talking about losing their libido all day. Dude, this whole time we've been thinking there's a serial killer out there. The, the bug man or whatever. But it's a, it's a whole... Okay, the two of you, you're actually starting to sound crazy. I've never seen anything about a secret society in all of my Blackwood yeah, no research. because I'm telling you, it's just a bunch of old then people. Then why did Walter try to recruit Nathan? Because Nathan's boring too. Look, he said he wants us to stop recording. No shit, because we're getting closer and closer to figuring out what the hell he's up to. But there is no way in hell we're stopping now. So here's what I think. And Brian, you're gonna hate this. How many times have you said to yourself, I should change my toothbrush head, or I should probably be brushing for longer? Having to think about that stuff over and over is inefficient. You should spend your time focusing on the things that are important. Visiting with family and friends, investigating local mysteries. So it's time to automate your brushing routine by doing what I did and getting Quip. Quip is a better electric toothbrush created by dentists and designed to make brushing your teeth more simple, affordable, and even enjoyable. New brush heads are automatically delivered on a dentist-recommended schedule every three months for just $5. This incredible toothbrush has made it easy to automate an annoying yet necessary part of my daily hygiene. That's why I love Quip and why they're backed by over 20,000 dental professionals. Quip starts at just $25, and if you go to getquip.com slash blackwood right now, you get your first refill pack for free with a Quip electric toothbrush. That's your first refill pack free at getquip dot com slash blackwood. They decided to ignore Walter's warning to meet Brighton early the next day after having been so hesitant, so difficult, the Brian that showed up was surprisingly eager to help. I mean, he's probably working at the country club again. Okay, so what, we go wait outside Stonebridge? He might go for lunch. Ooh, yeah, good idea. Let's get some food. Really? Yeah, come on. We'll just hit the drive-thru real quick. Then we can sit out in the parking lot like a bunch of stalkers. <laughs> so I, uh, I tried asking my mom questions about my grandpa last night. Mm, how'd that go? Not great. I didn't want to come right out and ask if he was the leader of a cult, you know? Basically, I just asked what kind of stuff he used to do for fun. Yeah, what'd you say? Exactly what I expected. That he liked to play golf and sometimes poker with his friends. And I bet poker night was code for murder someone and hang them from a tree. Okay. What do you want? Uh, hi. Um, can I have a medium latte with almond milk? Would that be all? Ooh, uh, can I get a small iced coffee, four shots of espresso? I get everything. I will take uh, two chocolate glazed donuts and a small coffee with extra sugar and two creams, please. Please pull up. It's okay. I got this. <laughs> Why? I feel like I've been kind of shitty. Don't get me wrong. You guys are annoying, but I was thinking about it last night, and I think I think maybe it is worth figuring out what my grandfather's been up to. Yeah? Yeah. I still think it's nothing for the record, but the sooner we eliminate him as a suspect, the better. So your grandpa was in charge of this thing before mine was, right? Well, supposedly. Why do you care? Like, what's it matter? Look, I can't just ignore what he did. People deserve to know. I mean, they're murdering- You keep calling them murderers, but so far, we only have evidence of a father-son suicide and a girl who fell down the side of a cliff. Matt Cooper didn't think Abby fell. In his journal, he made it sound like he knew someone was responsible. And then he turned up dead, too. And then his son. Walter said his group has been around for a long time, right? I mean, I wonder if we can find any more suspicious deaths if we look farther back. Uh, 
we could just ask him. Okay, I think that might be a little bit dangerous. As opposed to what we're doing now. Oh, wait, shh. There he is. Okay, he's getting in his car. All right, follow him. All right. Hey, but not too close. God, there is seriously almost nothing online. Whoa, my grandpa's picking up his dry cleaning. This is such a fun adventure, guys. What have you been searching, Molly? Blackwood death, Blackwood murder, Blackwood killed, just nothing. Okay, um, try accident or found dead. Good idea. I found something. Uh, it's a long time ago. Sean Bodie was found dead Wednesday evening. Bodie, an avid outdoorsman, had been declared missing. So there was more. Okay, looks like we're turning around. Oh. What? He's going to the old paper mill. Where he and your grandfather worked, Nathan. It's been closed. For years. Okay, you guys win. This is weird. Walter Anderson is getting out of his car and walking over to the large metal door at the front of the mill. Parts of the roof are caved in. He has a key. He just went inside. Okay, so are people already here or are they on their way? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Better park. Try, try and park down the road a little bit further. Yeah, yeah, not a good idea. Why would they come all the way out here to me? Okay, it seems like a pretty good place to hold a secret meeting to me. They sat in the car for an hour. No one else ever showed up. They debated whether or not to leave. Brian wanted to give up in the first 10 minutes. Molly and Nathan were on a stakeout. But then... Wait. Here he's leaving. Okay. Okay. Shit. 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 Okay, he's gonna see us. No, he's not. I think we're all right. Where are you going? Shit. Brian, let's go. Nathan, don't. He just went inside. Why are we running? Ow. Shit. What's wrong? Nothing, nothing. Nathan! Be careful in there. Nathan, where are you? Uh, damn it. Nathan? I'm up here. Nathan, what's going on, man? It's the ring. What? The ring from, from the dead tree. The one someone left for me. Get up here. the hell? He must have put this picture here. An old desk sits alone in a large room. On top are two small items. Wait, is that? It's my grandpa. At the dead tree. Uh, look at his hand. Oh my god, it's the ring. Your ring with the moth and the shield carved into it. Why would he put this here? He put this here for me to see it. He wanted us to think there was something hidden here. He must have left the ring for you at the tree. And the note. Welcome home. And he also left these. What is that? Um, this one looks like some sort of letter from my grandfather. And the other one? I think it's from Walter to us. It just says, I asked you to stop. These days, you can get practically everything on demand. So why are you still taking trips to the post office to mail letters and packages when you can get postage on demand with Stamps.com? Stamps.com brings all the amazing services of the U.S. Postal Service right to your desk or home office. Use your own computer and printer to get official U.S. postage for any letter or package, and the mail carrier will pick it up. Stamps.com will even send you a digital scale so you can weigh your mail and print the exact amount of postage every time. Not only are you saving time not making trips to send letters and packages, but you can save money by paying exact postage and getting discounts on postage that you can't get at the post office. And Stamps.com is so easy to use. Just click, print, mail, and you're done. It's a must-have for businesses. What a no-brainer. Want to try it out? Right now, you can use our code BLACKWOOD to get a four-week trial, up to $55 free postage, plus a digital scale. 
All you have to do is go to stamps.com, and before you do anything else, click on the radio microphone at the top of the homepage and type in Blackwood. That's stamps.com. Enter code Blackwood. Walt, I go over it again and again, and still I come back to the same solution. We know there are things about Blackwood that must be kept secret from the rest of the world. When that secret is threatened, what other recourse do we have? To silence a voice of dissent is to protect our way of life, and I will not make apologies for it. We do what we must to keep the world from crashing down on us. I made a vow to watch over Blackwood, to lead our brood. Sounds like an 80s horror movie. The brood. There will be no more infighting. If a sacrifice is to be made, I will be the one to make it. All I ask in return is your loyalty. Signed, Stuart. What's he talking about? Uh, it, God, it doesn't sound good. So after all that, dragging my family's name in the dirt was your goddamn grandpa's fault? Hey, Nathan, are you okay? Of course he's not okay. Listen, Nathan, dude, we're here for you, all right? We won't tell anybody anything, not until you let us know what you want us to do. Yeah, definitely. I just... God, I just can't even believe it. So I'm guessing this means we're going to finally stop investigating my grandfather? Brian, but he's... I mean, maybe he never tried to hurt anybody, but... See, this is why I came. I don't... What do you mean? Uh, we're here. All right. You are okay, Nathan? Hey, Nathan, if, if you want to talk, please just call me. Or come over, or anything, whatever you want to do. I just, I hope you're okay. I'm fine. Well, I hope we can finally stop with all of the... What's wrong now? The Brood. Yeah? Your grandfather is the leader of the Brood. Okay, so what? So what? Just let them do whatever the hell it is they want to do. Okay, as long as they're not hurting anybody, who cares? But they are hurting people, and we need to find out what they are. Of course, okay, of course that's something you would say. What? What does that mean? You always find a way to twist it to make it like my grandfather is some kind of monster. What? You have any idea what that would mean? What that would do to my family? You have a signed confession from Stuart Howell, and still somehow my grandfather is a killer. Look, I'm not trying to twist anything. I'm just trying to find the truth. Ryan, we are trying to find out the truth. No, you are trying to frame my grandfather as a murderer. I'm here to make sure you don't get away with that. I thought maybe if I go along with everything today, I could make sure you didn't do any more damage. Keep an eye on things. Give me that thing. No, hey, what is wrong with you? give it to me. Okay, I'm trying to be nice. But you're walking all over me. I try to get you to listen to me and you don't give a shit. Give me the goddamn thing or get out of my car, okay? I don't want to spend another minute with people who don't care about Right, I do care Jesus, about you. Jesus, give me the goddamn recorder. Wait. Molly, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. If Nathan's grandfather killed those people 30 years ago, who killed Arnold Cooper last week? I don't know what is going on with you, but I can't keep fighting like this. So you know what? Don't worry about it. I won't be bothering you anymore. Mom? Mom? Get up. I said get up. I, I, I didn't hear you come in. It's me, Nathan. Uh, uh, sure, I, I know that. I've been trying to figure it out, and I, and I think I've got it now. Got what? We could... Double output if we just make a few adjustments. Stop all the bullshit, uh, rambling I, nonsense. I, what, what, what are you This whole time, about? Mom and we, we came here to... Shit, we came here to take care of you. I, I, I told you We left our already. home. I left my friends to come to this town. Nathan. And everything I've ever heard about you. About how great you are and funny you are. I mean, they made you the mayor of this place. I mean, holy shit. For all I know, you rigged the whole thing. I mean, who knows exactly what you've done. Nathan, I, I, I'm, 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 I'm glad you're here. This is your ring, isn't it? I saw a picture of you wearing it. A shield? Yeah. Yeah, see, I knew you could understand me. Oh, too much. What? Is this what everyone wears? And the brood, or just the people in charge? Yeah, and I read your note, your goddamn note to Walter, saying that you, that, that you would be making the sacrifices, that you killed people. 
Did you murder a girl named Abigail Dunn? Her, promise me. Her body was found in Prescott Park. She was beaten up. It was like she fell, but you killed her. Wait, didn't you? You killed her and Matt Cooper. Are, are you talking? Tell me. Just tell me. Are you finally paying attention? Walt's already showed me everything. I, I did horrible things. I know you did. I know exactly what you did. We should have never come here. We should have just left you here to rot. Right Who killed you? Who killed you, Grandpa? What are you talking about? Why can't you just spit out one goddamn sentence and explain it? Just tell me all the shit you did, all the lives you ruined, my life, the people you murdered. Grandpa! Grandpa! Nathan's anger turned to panic, and he quickly called for help. Before long, sirens blared, and Nathan placed a difficult call to his mother. Stuart Howell had been declared dead. From Skylark, this is Blackwood. On the next episode... Didn't you say we were done with this crap? Yeah, I did, but that was before Nathan told me that he found all this stuff. All right. Yeah, let me see. What you got? You were the one who said we had to keep recording to capture as much of okay, this as possible. Okay, I know I did. What I'm saying now is we really need to think about what we're doing here. Nathan, before you came over, I was trying to record an ending. I think we should consider quitting while we still can. The next episode will be released next Wednesday. Subscribe now on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, TuneIn, Skylarkmedia.com, or wherever you're listening to this right now. Find a link to subscribe to Blackwood and more information in the episode notes. Simply tap or swipe over the cover art. You'll also see some offers from our sponsors. Please support our shows by supporting them. If you like what you've heard, We'd love you to give us a five-star rating and review. And be sure to tell your friends and show them how to subscribe. The story doesn't have to end here. You can even view bonus content, like the undercover photographs of Walter Anderson. Blackwood is directed by Mark Freiberger, produced by April Lamb, written by Will Rogers, story by Will Rogers and Derek Smith, executive produced by Ryan Hogan, Derek Smith, and Joshua Hawley from Skylark, and Marshall Louie from Wondery. With performances by Becca Walker, Ian Coletti, Cameron Johnson, and Ken Kirby. Co-starring John Rubenstein, Frank Burney, and Jacob Gorski.